We all know Caitlyn Jenner's kids, Kylie and Kendall. So why have you never heard of Caitlyn's other secret children, like Bert and Casey? Keep watching to learn the truth. Born in 1978, Burt Jenner is Caitlyn Jenner's first child from her marriage to actor Christy Scott, as per Sports Illustrated. The eldest Jenner offspring generally likes to keep things low-key. According to The Sun, he is a professional truck and race car driver and also owns several businesses, including a doggy daycare. In other words, he's not keeping up with the Kardashians, nor does he want to. He told Australia's Today that when it comes to the show, I don't watch it, it's just not part of my life. Yes, despite having superstar Caitlyn Jenner as a parent, Burt's made it clear that he had to pay his own way through life. He told Esquire, My dad's never helped me out financially in my life. I made it this far. Nobody's going to call me a daddy's kid. But he also told Today that he and Caitlyn have grown closer in recent years. She is a better person. Honesty is always the building block for any relationship. And at least we have that now. Caitlyn Jenner's second child from her marriage to Christy Scott, Cassandra Casey Marino, was born in 1980 and is Jenner's first daughter. Unlike her siblings, Marino is an incredibly private person and probably the quietest of all Jenner's kids. As per The Sun, she is married to Michael Marino and they have three children. Although the pair once had a fractured relationship, Marino told people that it has improved. My relationship with Caitlyn is much better than before she came out, but we still have a lot of work to do. We didn't talk for years, and now we see each other every couple of weeks and talk on the phone, which I am grateful for. She's happier and more appreciative of her family. She is trying harder, and there is a softness to Caitlyn that is new to me. I think part of that is that when someone is happier, they are just nicer. Following her divorce from Christy Scott, Caitlyn Jenner married actor Linda Thompson in 1981. Their son Brandon was born later that year. With ex-wife Leah Felder, Brandon Jenner was one half of indie group Brandon and Leah. During a Dig Mag interview with the couple, Brandon discussed having appeared on Keeping Up with the Kardashians with his then-wife, but emphasized the fact that reality TV isn't really his scene. We love making music. Reality TV, while it can be a nice boost to our audience, doesn't coincide with the lifestyle we have. We like to work on our craft. The two lifestyles kind of contrast. However, following Jenner and Felder's split in 2018, the indie group sadly dissolved. Speaking to people about his solo music, Jenner reflected on the limitations of having such a famous last name. I happen to be born into a family that was really well known. The fact that I have a recognizable last name, especially for what it's become recognizable for, has become a headwind that I've had to overcome. Caitlyn Jenner's second child with Linda Thompson Brody was born in 1983. It seems that reality TV runs in the Jenner blood, as Brody rose to fame thanks to The Princes of Malibu, which also starred his brother Brandon, and The Hills, where he seemingly developed a romance with co-star Lauren Conrad. However, as noted by The Sun, Jenner and Conrad later admitted that they feigned the tryst for the sake of ratings. The Daily Mail reported that Conrad said, We had zero chemistry. It always just felt forced. In 2018, Brody found love when he tied the knot with a woman called Caitlyn, spelled with a K. Alas, it was not to be, with E! reporting that the couple called it quits in 2019. Brody highlighted the difficulties of divorcing in the public eye. He confessed during an episode of The Hills, New Beginnings, I think our relationship ran its course. After we had our split, it was obviously tough for both of us. It turns out that Caitlyn Jenner hasn't always been there for her sons. Brody opened up about Caitlyn's absence throughout his childhood during an episode of The Hills' New Beginnings. According to Brody, Caitlyn prioritized the Kardashian clan over her older kids. I didn't really grow up with my dad. When I was really little, we got to spend a little bit of time, but when she started the family with the Kardashian family and all that, I didn't really see much of her. The fractured relationship between Brody and Caitlyn reached its peak when she missed out on her son's wedding. The Sun reported that a so-called insider told them, Brody tried to re-establish a family bond, but Caitlyn never responded much to calls or messages and always canceling, saying she had to work or attend an event, but demanding they always turn up to support her at events. Brody used to get so frustrated. Then when Caitlyn canceled on his wedding, Brody was done. They haven't spoken in around a year now. 
Meanwhile, Brandon Jenner has echoed his little brother's claims. He wrote in an essay collection titled, To Me, He Was Just Dad, Stories of Growing Up with Famous Fathers. The effect of my parents' souring relationship was that I didn't see my father more than half a dozen times between the ages 8 and 25. From Arnold Schwarzenegger to, of course, former President Trump, Caitlyn Jenner followed a long list of celebs who ran for political office when she announced she had filed paperwork to enter the race for governor of California in 2021. Seeing as she's a Republican in a liberal-leaning industry, she was met with her fair share of criticism. But no one was quite as disappointed by Jenner's political ambitions as her own children. Fox News reported that Burt Jenner and his siblings were, quote, "...embarrassed by Caitlyn's run for governor of California." Burt made one veiled remark about it on Facebook before dropping off of social media. But TMZ reported that Brody and Brandon Jenner were also embarrassed by Caitlyn's run. So-called insiders told the site that her sons, quote, "...don't feel she's qualified for the position, and they strongly believe she shouldn't be mounting a campaign." On CBS This Morning, Caitlyn Jenner was asked about her family's involvement in her political ambitions. "...I did speak with all my children. I said, hey, I do not want one tweet. This is my deal. I said if anybody asks any questions in the media, just say no comment. Address your comments to me." I can take it. People have come after me all my life, you know, and I, I kind of just move on and do my own thing. The Jenner children need not worry, however, as Caitlyn lost monumentally in the election, barely managing to win 1% of the vote, which the Los Angeles Times attributed to her lack of support from the LGBTQ community. After marrying Kris Jenner in 1991, Caitlyn Jenner welcomed more children into her life. Through Kris, she is step-parent to Kim, Chloe, Courtney, and Rob, whose father, lawyer Robert Kardashian, died in 2003. Jenner's relationship with her stepchildren has been fraught at times. Kim Kardashian has clashed with Caitlyn Jenner on multiple occasions due to their differing political views. When Jenner ran for governor of California, The Sun reported that Kardashian would, quote, not be endorsing Caitlyn Jenner. A source told TMZ that, quote, Kim was not only disappointed, but disturbed by Caitlyn's politics. Kardashian, who believes in prisoner rehabilitation, took aim with Jenner's 2021 tweet claiming that California Governor Gavin Newsom was, quote, "...releasing dangerous criminals back onto our streets." Regarding her relationship with Jenner, Kardashian has said that she loves her, but is disappointed by her increasingly right-wing views. Kardashian told Ellen DeGeneres in 2017, "...I'll always love her. That was my stepdad for so many years." She taught me about character and so much growing up, and I just feel like I don't respect the character that she's showing now." Meanwhile, in an interview with Pierce Morgan, Jenner admitted that she was no longer speaking to her four Kardashian stepchildren. "...I spent 23 years of my life with those kids. It's difficult to talk about it. Terribly, terribly sad. I've lost all relationship with them. Yes, I don't talk to any of them anymore." Ever since keeping up with the Kardashians catapulted former Olympian Caitlyn Jenner back into the media spotlight, where she undoubtedly enjoyed immense stardom as a result, the memory of her older children began to fade from public view. Subsequently, it appears that Jenner's older children have been overshadowed somewhat by those within the Jenner-Kardashian brood, as the Jenner appellation became synonymous with Kendall and Kylie. Caitlyn told Diane Sawyer on 2020, some of my children I have remained very close to. A couple of them, I'm a little more distant. I have to admit, I'll sit here and wonder, is it because of my transitioning? Or is it because their life is so busy that they don't call, like, all the time?" While her two youngest kids have been loving and supportive with regard to her transition, Jenner confessed that some of her children weren't too happy about her Vanity Fair cover, though she didn't name names. Jenner told Sawyer, I know, my kids that thought, you know what, it's a little too much. But from my standpoint, I had suffered for 65 years. To have a beautiful shot of my authentic self was important. And I wanted the shock value. I wanted to end the old Bruce, my old life. And that picture did it." Caitlyn Jenner welcomed her second daughter when Chris gave birth to their first child, Kendall, in 1995. Kendall Jenner is a highly successful supermodel, whom Forbes crowned the highest-paid model of 2017, with a whopping salary of $22 million. 
As if that colossal annual paycheck wasn't enough, Kendall launched her own tequila brand, 818, in 2021, with the spirits business noting that sales for the tequila reportedly topped early sales from other celebrity vanity tequila brands, from stars such as LeBron James and George Clooney. And of course, Kendall is also responsible for that notorious Pepsi ad. Needless to say, the Car Jenners aren't exactly known for their modesty. But unlike her siblings who bask in the reality TV limelight, Kendall claims to be a far more reserved and quiet person. She told WWD that she's actually not that big a fan of social media. I think I'm the most private out of my family. I don't need it to affect my life, so I'd rather just not look at anything. You can get a million comments about how beautiful you look and how awesome you are, but the one comment that says they hate you and you're ugly is the one that sticks. Born in 1997, Kylie Jenner is Caitlyn's youngest child. Known for being a popular makeup guru with a highly successful beauty line, Kylie Cosmetics, the youngest Jenner kid has created a multi-million dollar beauty empire. Although she was once tipped as the world's youngest billionaire, Forbes noted that Kylie is no longer deserving of that moniker following some financial pitfalls. Money aside, Kylie and Caitlyn share an extremely close bond. Kylie told Harper's Bazaar, my dad was the best growing up, never missed a sports game, took us to school every day, and our school was like 45 minutes from our house. As for how often she speaks to Caitlin, Kylie said, like every day, except I couldn't talk to her for three or four weeks when she did that show, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. I watched clips online. It was hard to be out of touch for that long, but I feel like it was harder for her because she couldn't see us. In 2018, a 20-year-old Kylie blessed Caitlyn with another grandchild when she gave birth to adorable daughter Stormy with an on-again, off-again boyfriend, rapper Travis Scott. The youngster may be barely out of diapers, but mom Kylie treats her to a designer wardrobe worth more than most people's annual salary. And in 2021, the makeup mogul announced via Instagram that she and Travis Scott were expecting their second child. When Caitlyn Jenner came out as transgender in 2015, gracing the cover of Vanity Fair with her glam new look, she received overwhelming praise and support. That year, she was honored with the Arthur Ashe Courage Award at the ESPYs, where she was greeted with a standing ovation before giving a moving speech about living one's truth. She said, if you want to call me names, make jokes, doubt my intentions, go ahead, because the reality is I can take it. But for thousands of kids out there, coming to terms with being true to who they are, they shouldn't have to take it. As she spoke, her daughter Kendall, sitting proudly in the audience, could be seen with tears in her eyes. Kendall told People, When my dad came out as transgender, our relationship grew. She could finally be honest with me. Because of my dad's bravery, I've learned to love what I love and not be ashamed of it. She's been my role model since before I can even remember. From sports growing up, to now with her wisdom. She's so brave, and I aspire to be as brave as her one day. There's arguably no greater gift for a parent than being dubbed their child's hero. Kylie Jenner has heaped mountains of praise on Caitlyn, declaring that she is both a hero and a role model. Kylie told People, My dad has always been an inspiration to me from winning the gold medal at the Olympics to getting her pilot's license. However, watching her live out her true self has been the most inspiring of them all. She's our hero. Following Caitlyn's coming out, Kylie emphasized Caitlyn's positive impact. Regarding Caitlyn receiving Glamour's Transgender Champion Award, Kylie said, She's lived an amazing life, and she's always done amazing things. She's such a good role model for so many people and I know she wants to do so much good with what she's doing. Kylie makes a vital point. Representation is important, and there's no doubt that Caitlyn Jenner's coming out was instrumental in highlighting trans visibility. As transgender rights activist Mara Kiesling told The Guardian, there are people all over America who have seen the Vanity Fair photos and said to themselves, you know, I am trans too, and I am going to have the courage to come out. And that feeling of adoration is mutual. Caitlyn gushed about Kylie when the reality star became a mother. Caitlyn told Us Weekly, Little Stormy is a wonderful little kid, and Kylie is a wonderful mom. She's totally dedicated to her. 
Kylie Jenner earned a bit of a bossy reputation in the KUWTK days. So much so that she tweeted in 2020, quote, I'm not bossy, I'm the boss. Perhaps Caitlyn Jenner agrees. Favoritism is, sadly, all too common within family dynamics, and there's no denying that Caitlyn and Kylie Jenner share an immense bond that is seemingly imperishable. Subsequently, Kylie's big sister Kendall appears to be relegated to the background at times. It is, after all, Kylie who features most prominently on Caitlyn's Instagram feed, with loving tributes to both the daughter and granddaughter Stormy. And Caitlyn pretty much confirmed what all eagle-eyed KUWTK stands had long believed. Kylie is her favorite. During an appearance on the Skinny Confidential Him and Her podcast, Caitlyn responded to a big question. When asked which Jenner kid she could, quote, see herself in the most, she confessed, Kendall and I have a lot in common, but Kylie and I just seem to be closer most of the time. Kendall's off kind of doing her thing, and Kylie, like, I had dinner last night at Kylie's house. We try to do that once a week. To add the final nail in the coffin, Caitlin summed it up. And so, from that standpoint, we're a lot closer. Kendall's not that. She's always very kind of a little bit more secretive. We're still very close, but it's kind of harder to figure out. Where Kylie's more of an open book. In a touching video for her YouTube channel, Caitlyn Jenner got daughter Kylie to do her makeup, and the pair discussed the importance of Caitlyn still being referred to as her children's dad. Kylie said, Sometimes people get really confused when Kendall and I still call you dad. Caitlyn revealed that this was in part by her own choice, stressing that being a father is a role, not a pronoun. I feel it was one of the best decisions I made. And sometimes this community can be pretty tough, uh, especially when it comes to pronouns and everybody's got an opinion. She went on to explain that no matter what her gender identity, she's still their dad. Some people say, oh, you're the mother. No, no, I'm not. I, I'm, I'm the dad. I've been the dad the whole way. Um, I will be their father until the day they die or I die. When discussing Caitlyn's coming out with WWD, Kendall Jenner had similar feelings toward the importance of still referring to her as dad. It would probably be different for someone who didn't have to live it through the media, but I've known since I was a kid. My dad is my dad. Here's hoping the future is bright for Caitlyn and her children. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.